All right. So I've finished my electric Art Attack snowmobile. I haven't run it yet. It looks awesome. I'm very excited for this. Uh, the front skis are actually the giant wide skis. If you've been following along on the update uh, video series I've been doing on this, all I did was take some paint, give it a few layers, you know, made sure it was good. I'm sure it'll scratch and, uh, you know, the red will show through, but that's not too much of a concern. I think it'll be minimal. There are a few things that I did with the sled that, uh, that I'll show you that'll certainly help you if you're doing an electric sled as well. This is the uh, top all assembled. I actually covered the, uh, the slots for, you know, there used to be a, a nitro engine and there is a nitro version you can get, uh, but I don't want snow going in all over my electrics. So the electrics are hooked up. This is a 1700 kV uh, brushless from Tekken T8 motor. Uh, it is a sensored motor, so I've got the sensor cable ra running around the front uh, down to the ESC, which, uh, which is an RX-8 Gen 2. This Gen 2 I have uh, somewhat waterproofed. I haven't gone the full way, uh, but I did get in and seal up the uh, holes for the suspension. Right uh, about here, this actually, you can see, goes ups and down. <laughs> Me and my Gorilla Tape, you guys are probably laughing by now, but just like duct tape, this Gorilla Tape is, is a fiber tape that allows you to kind of cover things up and it's waterproof. So what I'm showing you here is that I did cut it out so I can allow that suspension rod, the steering rod, to move up and down. Uh, but at the same time, going to prevent a lot of the snow from getting in. I'm not too concerned about snow moving into the brushless area. You know, it'll have to be trial and error, but I'll see. So I did tighten up the transmission. Uh, I took a little Dremel and, and uh, cut out a little bit of the body chassis uh, or the tub chassis and I moved this whole transmission forward about three millimeters and I tightened it up. This is a Kevlar belt so it's actually designed uh, not to stretch so I've got hopes with that. Underneath I do have a 3 cell 50C so uh, pretty high uh, discharge current on that uh, which is going to be plenty I think just to test out the sled. 3S is going to be ripping especially if my tracks is slash <laughs> rips on 3S then woohoo! <laughs> okay so that's done. Underneath Okay, I have, th these are just tips and tricks, and here's that silly Gorilla Tape again. It's almost like my show is sponsored by it, but it's not. Uh, just regular fiber tape. This I do this on my big Losies as well. A lot of times, screws and things really shake loose, so I'll use some Gorilla Tape on the bottom, uh, even on the skid plate area, so what's getting scratched and hurt first is, of course, the tape, and the screws remain in, in uh, the spots that I need. These ones I'm not worried about. I've Loctite them, and they're super tight. And dun, 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 here is the track. Now, there is a rumor going around, uh, and, and we'll see if it actually comes out, that this track is being redesigned by Art Attack right now to have bigger lugs, uh, but I have studded the track. I didn't go every single one. I went every second, like on the third one, I would put in two of the screws. One, two, one, two, one, two, and beyond. I did tighten up the track belt itself. There is two tightening screws that you can access through these holes, and I just kind of torqued it and, and stretched this out. Really nice suspension, it feels good. You can see the cog on the end here, that's actually the drive uh, cog that moves the whole belt. So we'll see. Keeping the battery fairly far back. Grrgh. I Velcroed it back here so it does give it a little bit of weight back there and then it just can be plugged in simply kaboom like that. So uh, one thing I did want to improve and I'm going to try to do that right now quickly before I take it out to give it a test. Putting it back on like this. So this is the original handlebar, hey? I don't like this very much. Uh, it doesn't work very well with the rider that they supply. It's almost like his arms are too far apart and they don't grip it well. So I do dun, 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 have a piece, an old piece that's discontinued, the ATV handlebar. Uh, it's much wider. This used to be for the Savage and I do have one way over there, that guy. You guys know the video if you've seen it. 
So here I am. I'm going to put this on quickly and see if it's a better, uh, better arm support for him. Nice. Wide angled. And there we go. Now the handlebars look proper. I'm glad I had that kind of kicking around just in case they're getting harder to find, but if you can get them, there's a nice little hack for you right there. Okay, let's, uh, let's fire it up. Using a waterproof uh, Spectrum receiver, just a two channel. There we go. Nice and swift. Look at that. Nice speed. Now the story that we all want to know. Will the track move? <laughs> Looks like it. You gonna come help me film? Yeah. Excellent coveralls. This should keep you nice and toasty. It's for fr freezing outside. You ready? You ready? I'm excited to do this. <laughs> okay, that's and cut. <laughs> okay, so uh, I guess this is it. The big tell all, eh? Hey? It's been a, a lot of uh, pomp and circumstance. Hopefully it works. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's only like one tenth throttle. Steers pretty good. Not a lot of snow out right now. Got a little bit though, hey? A little bit. Okay, let's take it out to the field. Yes! Want to make sure there isn't a gear grinding inside. What do we see? Is it a pinion? No, it's just the track. I think we're going to be okay. It's just the track on the spool. We'll see if it becomes something worse, you know. I'll find out soon enough. It's actually the sound of the snowmobile. <laughs> hey, that suspension works fantastic. Yeah, it looks pretty good. <laughs> Got plenty of traction. Can I try it? Yes, of course. What percentage of throttle are you at right now? 25? It's very sensitive, that T8 motor yeah, puts out lots. I don't want to overdo it on my first run out, I don't, don't want to break the servo. <laughs> rattle, 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 rattle. Who's driving here? Well, that's good, uh, good servo response though for the, the blades. Those wide blades are, okay. wide blades are keeping you upright. You haven't tipped over yet. No, it's, it's pretty stable, it's nice. Give it some speed there on your way back. You bet. These guys want to see it ripping. On a 3S, careful of the tree, please. Tree. <laughs> really close. Uh huh. magical. No. Very nice puttering around. Good power. Good power. I like the full throttle. Nice. Jim ripping it up on the, oh, something's squealing. Oh, nice, good recovery. Sounds pretty neat.
So how's your response time? It's pretty good actually. It's a, it's a nice easy thing to drive. It's pretty fun. Even with this little bit of snow. Yeah. Those studs on the track certainly mm -hmm. seem to help. Right. I added those extra handlebars there so the driver is able to hold on. Hey, it looks great. It's very stable. Yeah. Good job. Let's get her out on the track. Okay. So here's a good look at the tracks that it's actually making those wide skis nice. You can see the stud imprints on the drive track. Handling pretty good. I'm loving it so far. Oh, something's wrong. Stop. You you jumped the track. I didn't. It was going over at a very Jump the track. That's what happened. Came off the back. I was it's doing okay. a respectable speed. Yeah, you were. Just happened to jump the track. That's no big deal. Happens in real full scale too. The track came off the back tire, but this isn't a drive area. This is just a cog. So we'll kind of put it back on. Dun, dun, dun. Hold it. Thank you. Should be pretty simple. I guess snow gets stuck in here as well and it causes the track to jump. Plus everything is quite cold, so it's contracting. It's that wind, it's the darn wind that gets you. Yeah, and look at all this snow up here. Careful with that throttle. And it's dry snow. Yeah, true, that's good though. Agreed. Um, cool hmm. beans. Let me give her a boot just around here and see if you can stay with it for a sec. Yeah, kind of, is barely. Probably have to tighten up the back. That's okay, we'll do more with it. I obviously have to oh, tighten gotcha. it up a little bit, but being cold and we've done it, that's a good test, eh? What do yeah, you think? I think so, that was a great test. That was super fun on the flat. Let's try it. Wow, I think it's moved a little bit. Oh, that's why. The inside wheel, I should have glued the bearing oh that does end my day check it out so the bearings come out I was actually supposed to glue it in there that's my fault uh, so I've totally ruined our day no not at all no uh, at least we'll be able to play next time and if you guys are subscribed you can catch the next video with my art attack snowmobile so thanks for helping film Jim dude I love it and helping drive perfect I gotta get these cold hands inside a warm yeah, house it's, uh, pretty freezing. it's freezing dudes cool. bye well, there we go. Our first run of the Art Attack snowmobile. I'm actually pretty happy with it. It's got lots of pep, lots of torque. Uh, the combo of uh, motor and ESC seem to be good. And uh, the steering's fairly responsive. So I'm going to have to wait for more snow. But if you guys are subscribed, you'll be able to stay tuned and see what I've got coming up next. And for all those that are subscribed, thank you so much for supporting the show. Brr, I'm going to go warm up. See you later. Get out and have fun with some RC. Bye.